Hi guys, it's TCG Enjoying Eli. I know I don't usually do these videos, but yeah, we're just going to be doing Cats vs. Dogs today. I've been reading it in books, doing a bunch of research, so I thought maybe I should just do a Cats vs. Dogs video. And we also had to do a school report about this, so yeah, I thought I'd make a video about it. Now, if you really like Men of War, don't worry, episode 2 is not the last one. I plan to continue doing it for a long, long time. Um, I hope you enjoy that series. But anyways, we're going to start with Cats vs. Dogs. Okay, so, this is not just, oh, cats are better because I have cats. Ah, cats are going to love you more than dogs. No, it's just going to be about age difference, how long they can live, stuff like that, which one's easier to take care of, and if you're planning on getting a dog or a cat, what decision should you make? There's going to be two whole main things in this video, and... Um, this is my 99th video. The next video is going to be the 100th. That's going to be a party. But anyways, yeah. We're starting out with lifespan. Now, if you're going to get a dog, the average dog lives from 10 to 12 years. And if you're going to get a cat, the average cat lives from 2 to 16 years. Now, you're taking a risk with getting a cat because they could end up only maybe living for 2 years. But that's really the same as dogs. You just have to take care of them better. So right now, cats are going in the leave, going in the lead by 1, by age. So Next is walk. Now, dogs are going to be a lot more walk because you have to take them on walks every day. You have to buy them leashes. You have to buy them all that stuff. They have to go walk around the block every day. And you can't just not walk your dog on the block. And, you can't, and your dog can't go to the bathroom inside the house. So that's also going to be a pretty big problem if you're considering getting a dog. Now cats, um, they're easy to they're a lot easier to take care of. All you need is a little box, litter, and then put it in the bathroom or somewhere like maybe the kitchen, something like that. And you can leave um your house, and the cats just go to the bathroom. They don't have to be taken out for walks or anything. As if you're gonna get a dog, you can't stay at work for like the whole day or go to school for the whole day. Well, maybe school, but not like a job or like go to a hotel really, then you're going to have to find a babysitter for your dog because, because your dog needs walks. So you're definitely going to need a babysitter for your dog if you're going out of the house for a long time. Now, it's kind of the same with cats, but with cats you can just leave out a lot of food and... Just give them more little boxes. Now, that's not really the responsible thing to do. Um, what you should probably do is get a babysitter for your cat if you're staying out. So, right now, by walk, cats are taking the lead, being most easy to take care of. So, cats have two points, dog have zero points. Moving on to the next one. Protection. Now, if you're getting a pet to, like, be guarding something or just to protect you or just to be a companion, then you would want to get a dog because dogs can defend you as cats will not really defend you. They, they do love you, but dogs are going to be better at defending you and alerting you if something's wrong because the dogs will be growling and barking really loud if something's wrong well the cats might just give a quiet meow but also cats can alert you if something's happening to like a storm or a fire dogs are taking the point for this for protection and a lot like if someone's at your door then you're gonna know like if someone is at your door knocking on your door your cat's not gonna notice but your dog will be barking like crazy so cats two points dogs one point activities now most cats are going to be lazy. They're not going to want to play fetch, run around, run outside in your yard, play around like that. 
play fetch with you. Um, yeah. So cats are oh, not gonna want to want to play with you, but dogs you can let them outside without a leash sometimes if you're just in your yard. But the responsible thing to do is keep your dog on a leash if you're going somewhere public or somewhere big where your dog could get lost. Um, so basically, if you really want to play with your pet, run around with them all the time, then you're going to want a dog. So I'm giving a point to dog for activities. So cats stay that too and dogs stay that too or at a time. Hunting. Now, I know it sounds a bit weird, hunting. But I'm saying if you live out in the woods and you let your cat outside, that's not going to be too good of an idea because an animal could get to it. But also say if you live somewhere, um, your dog might not usually kill a mouse or board or something like that. They'll try to get squirrels and boards. But basically the cats are going to get you more small animals if you let your cats outside. And stuff like that so that's a bit of a down point but I'm just gonna give a point to dogs for this um, you will understand if you get a dog or a cat so yeah cats stand at two dogs stand at three companionship now this is which one's gonna love you and stick through it stick with you through it all now honestly I can't say cats love you more or dogs love you more so each um, animal will give you company and love you. So I'm just going to give each a point. So cats stand at three, dogs stand at four. Yeah. Moolah. Now, obviously getting pets is expensive. But now I'm just going to tell you which one is the best to get if you want to save money and stuff like that. So now dogs more... Things can happen to your dog because they're gonna have to be outside. You can't keep your dog in your um your house. They need to get outside daily. So yeah, more things can happen to your dog outside when you let it outside. But with cats, um, the same thing can happen to cats if you let them outside. But what my family does is we have inside cats, and they don't like the outside. And less things are going to happen to your cat if they're inside. And the thing is, you don't have to let your cat outside. You don't have to. You can keep it inside. But with your dog, you have to let your dog out. If you don't, it's not. You, it's going to be a mess in your house. So you're going to have to let your, do your dog out. So for this, I'm going to give cats a point. So cats have... Four points, and dogs have four points. Yeah. Destruction. This sounds weird, but it's not what you think. Not like just blow up your car destruction. I mean, dogs are going to chew on more stuff. Like, if you have toys, action figures, dogs are going to chew those up. You're going to have bite marks in your action figures. As cats, they're still going to try to eat things and chew things up put things in the mouth but not as much as dogs so if you don't want all your toys chewed up your bobby dolls chewed up your gi joe pe people chewed up then you're gonna want to get a cat because they're not gonna like chew and gnaw on your G um figures or whatever toys you have they're gonna swallow less stuff uh yeah so i'm gonna give cats a point cats of five Dogs have four. Sorry if I ever miscount. Uh, I'm, when I'm editing this video, I'm going to see if I accidentally move my fingers down and edit the top screen. So if I made a mistake, it's going to say, like, right up there. It's going to be, actually, guys, I made a mistake, this and this and this. So, yeah. So that was basically everything. And I believe that cats won. Now, I'm not just saying that cats won because I have cats. I'm saying that because of everything I just talked about and all the research I did, lifespan, all of that. So if you're considering getting an animal, you can get a cat. But that doesn't mean you have to get a cat. You can get a dog. 
and you can get a dog and cat, but I, in my opinion, I, it's not great to get a dog and a cat, because they're going to fight, um, so, the same with getting cats at different times, it's just a whole ordeal getting one cat, then a month later or a year later getting another cat, so I suggest either getting dogs or cats together as siblings, or from the fr same litter, yeah, or just go one cat, one dog. Um, what I mean is don't get um, a cat and a dog, like, get one cat for your family, and then if you don't want a cat, get one dog for your family. This is kind of a boring video, f but it's for pet owners who like tips and stuff like that about your cats and yeah so i believe cats won i'll do a little collection if i messed up but anyways this has been tcg enjoying eli the tips signing out bye